very pleasant to make. Because this was work. Hopefully I can salvage this. Okay, the moment of truth. I don't know why I thought this was going to be a straightforward dress. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video I've got a little bit of a different one. I am doing a what I'm sewing this week or sew with me this week, whatever you want to call it. Basically I'm bringing you into my world of absolute creative chaos um, where I show you what projects I'm working on throughout the week. We do a little bit of sewing. Um, hopefully I'll have a fabric delivery or two as well coming in. Although I don't think I've bought anything, so probably not. <laughs> so, sorry about that. It might be a little bit all over the place. I am a mum of three and I sew in my spare time, which is very, very limited. It's nap times or when they're in bed. There's no other free time. I'm gonna be doing a mini kind of review, not review, but kind of talking through this pattern as well because um, I am sewing that for my transformation. And it's my first time actually ever sewing a Vogue pattern. I bought one when I was 16 from a local fabric shop because it's what they recommended to me. I took it home to my mum who actually taught me how to sew. She was a sewing teacher. I took it home to her and showed her and she was utterly horrified. So let's just say that pattern never ever got made. It was awful. So hopefully this one is going to be a slightly better experience of Vogue. So this is the first dress that I'm working on today. It used to actually be something completely different. I'll insert clips of what it used to be, but I didn't particularly like it. Um, it was the M7969 and it was a bit big and there was just too much going on for me and it wasn't a dress that I reached for. So this dress that I've recently bought the pattern for, um, I thought could be a really good option. And I've done the bodice, nearly, um, and I'm loving it so far. I'm just working on the neckline now. That's kind of today's um, task. And I've got to finish off the skirt. Um, so neckline wise, on the instructions, they say do like a baby rolled hem on this. Um, but I've read a lot on Instagram that people kind of wish that they'd bound it all the way around because you do bind this back neckline to where it's got a back zip on this one. So I'm going to bind it all the way around, I think. And I think that'll look a lot neater as well because check out these French seams all the way around and I'm going to do them on the skirt too. So hopefully it will have super pretty guts. Sorry about the dishwasher in the background, it is so, so loud. So I'm gonna cut out my binding now. So this sleeve, if you look carefully, the grain line is going down here. So I need to literally slash it across. These are the sleeves on the old dress. Um, it's the only leftover fabric I've got. So hopefully I can make a decent amount of bias binding out of these, because I have got two of them and they are massive. bias binding is ready or pressed in half and um, it's quite wide I probably could have done with doing it a little bit narrower but I find bias binding so fiddly so the bigger I can make it the better So I ordered an extra piece of this fabric to cut out the skirt for this dress because I didn't have quite enough for my original dress. And um, it took a little bit of pattern Tetris to get it all to fit into this metre and a half that I bought. Um, and because I was concentrating so much on that, I've cut out my two front skirt pieces the same way. So now the hem doesn't match up. Um, hopefully I can salvage this. We'll see. Right, so I'm just pinning my bodice to my skirt now and we're nearly on the home stretch. 
um, I have some thoughts on this pattern actually. I'm really pleasantly surprised with how easy this was to sew and quick to sew. Um, I've heard very mixed things about Vogue patterns, but I would say this is probably like one of the better ones instruction wise and sewing wise, like they've not overcomplicated it and it's been very pleasant to make, um, apart from me messing up on the skirt and cutting out two of the same piece, but we will ignore that. Um, or at least try to because now I've got to try and match up the darts that are now a little bit misplaced but um, luckily this fabric's got a little bit of give so I should hopefully be able to get away with it but yeah this has been really nice to sew and pretty quick to sew as well so if you're looking for like a last minute wedding guest dress pattern or just something nice and glam but you don't want to spend too much time making it um, this could be a really, really good option. I'm excited to see what this is like on. There we go. Right, that looks pretty well matched. Not perfect, but I'm gonna try not to be too precious about it because I can't at this point because I messed up cutting. As long as it's wearable, that's all that matters. <laughs> Okay, the moment of truth and it fits. I'm so happy with it. I'm so glad that I decided to change the original dress to this because I think this fabric really, really suits this pattern. I have a few fit alterations to make still. Um, these darts and pleats here are coming down a bit too low. It's making it pull across my hips. So I'm gonna take them up. I've just popped a pin in, although I've just knocked it out. Let's put that back in. Um, so I need to take that up maybe by an inch and a half um, and then that'll sit a little bit nicer. Um, the only thing that I wish that was a little bit different on this pattern is my natural waist is here and this is obviously not sitting on my natural waist. It's designed to be like that because it's not going to work for a deep V otherwise. Um, but yeah, I do like things being around that bit of my waist because it is my smallest part, but it's fine. I just need to get used to it because it's not usually a fit that I go for. I was going to shorten the sleeves, but actually I really, really like this length. So I'm going to leave them longer and I'm going to leave the length of the skirt as well. I'm obsessed with this sort of mid calf length, but you can see where my hem doesn't match up. So I need to get that sorted. But yeah, I'm so happy with this. It's cute. Just wanted to show you something else that I have been working on, but it's finally finished. Um, my sister sent me a picture of a dress that she loved and asked me to recreate it for her for her birthday. Um, this has been a long time coming because it took me a long time to get my head around how to draft this and I definitely made it difficult for myself. Um, originally I was going to shear these bits here but this is quite a heavy cotton and it didn't particularly like the shearing, it wasn't sitting tight enough for my liking. So instead I did elastic channels, um, which took a long time and I definitely could have made this a lot easier by drafting the pattern first and then sewing the channels, but I did it the other way around. So that made it super, super difficult. So it's just come back from my mum's because she did all this beautiful, beautiful binding by hand. Um, I wasn't really sure how to finish it. So I passed it over to her and she stitch this all on and it looks amazing. I was going to try and do it myself but my hand sewing is appalling so I thought I'd leave it to the pros and not ruin all my hard work. And before this gets posted off to my sister I just wanted to show you it on. Obviously it's not made to measure me, it's made to fit my sister who's about half a foot shorter than me and a lot smaller than me so it's a bit tight and a bit short but I just about squeezed into it. Hopefully she won't mind me doing this, but I love it. It's so cute and I'm so, so proud of this top. I mean, next time for sure when I make it, I will shear this rather than do the elastic channels because this was work. It was a lot. It really was, but I mean, worth it because this looks really, really good and I don't think shearing would look this nice. 
um, but I love the shape of it. I love this high neck as well. Um, look how neat that binding is around the armhole. Like my mum is absolute sewing goals because I could only dream to sew something that neatly by hand. But yeah, I really hope Hattie likes it because I'm obsessed. And if it wasn't too small for me and short for me, I would totally keep it for myself. So it's a new day. I've just put the baby down for a nap. So I've got a couple of hours of sewing time, hopefully, if he sleeps because we are having a heat wave right now. And it's very, very hot in this house. And it's especially hot in my sewing room because this is the conservatory on the back of the house and it's very old and it's like a greenhouse in here. So anything that I do that's sewing related, I need to be doing elsewhere. <laughs> I don't want to be at my sewing machine right now. So I've got a zip that I need to fix on some trousers and it's going to involve a lot of unpicking so I can go and do that out in the garden in the shade. And then I need to print and stick together a new pattern because I'm starting a new project, which is going to be the Vicky Sews Lorraine in this beautiful lilac matte um, sateen viscose fabric. Um, I really struggle with lilacs, I've never found one that actually suits me, but I think I can just about pull this one off. So yeah, I'm gonna get that cut out and get started on that one, I'm very excited. But I need to get out of this room right now because I am sweating just sitting here. So I've cheated a little bit on this one and I've only printed out the bodice and the straps because I've already got a half circle skirt block uh, cut out somewhere. So I thought I would save my energy and effort and paper, I'm trying to be good here, um, and just do the bodice. So I've printed out all the bodice pieces. I'm just gonna go around with my felt tip and just highlight my size because I always get so confused when I'm cutting out and I end up cutting out the wrong size. And then you have to redo this process, which nobody wants to do. Sorry, I'm the worst YouTuber ever because I cut this out and forgot to film it. But yeah, there's lots and lots of pieces to this pattern. So this is going to be an interesting one to make, that's for sure. Just looking through the instructions for the Vicky Sews Lorraine, and I don't know why I thought this was going to be a straightforward dress, but it's not. There are a lot of steps. So I think this one is going to be a very, very slow sew. This is annoying, but totally necessary. So using this medium iron-on interfacing, I will, when I'm doing a fitted bodice, especially in a lighter weight fabric, I will interface every single piece of that bodice, whether the pattern tells me to or not, like so. It just stops the fabric doing that wrinkling thing, makes it fit a bit more snug, and anything that cinches me in a little bit more at the waist, I am here for. Don't be fooled by how lovely this is looking. I spent hours on this last night. My gathering did not want to play ball. The threads kept snapping every time I sewed everything together and then pulled it tight, it would all just stretch out. It was just one thing after another. So I'm just working on my bus cups now and then I am going to take a much needed break from this project before I actually lose my mind. I don't actually own a tailor's ham, so I'm having to improvise today. Just had a very exciting delivery from Pound Fabrics. I bought this black Brodion glaze to make the Mood Fabrics Clementine dress, the free pattern. It was highly requested for me to do a bit of a sew along after my last video. So I'm gonna be using that fabric to do that. Um, I'm gonna do the dress with a tiered skirt. So I've got three meters of this and then I have this one in my stash already. So I'm gonna use that for the top part as well and combine the two because I think those two different kind of sizes of the um, embroidery looks really sweet together. Today is the day that I'm going to start my Clementine dress sew along. So I'm going to sign the vlog off here. I really hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too scatty and all over the place. But like I said earlier, that's the way I roll. That's how it works in my little sewing world. If you did enjoy this video, please do let me know in the comments below and I will try to film some more. But thank you so much for watching. Keep your eyes peeled for the Clementine dress sew along. That'll be coming very, very soon. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.